if we were to get married again, there were a lot of things that we figured we're just out too different. now that we would have done a lot different. Yeah. You just don't take time to get married. It's awkward for the wives to see a courtship and all these things. And I had a thousand yard stare and I wasn't, I wasn't engaged into the experience. Our wedding day was sad. It was a little bit sad. I hadn't seen Cody for a long time. We'd just been talking on the phone. We hadn't connected. I hated my dress. <laughs> Katie from Without a Crystal Ball, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since we've done a Sister Wives update and I just wanted to do a quick one because I wanted you guys to know that I have not forgotten about our favorite polygamists. Well, I don't know if they're our favorite polygamists, they're more like the favorite train wreck polygamists that we can't stop watching and the favorite of the Christine leave Cody world and the favorite of Mary run out and the favorite of save the children, save the kids, save the wives and the favorite of if they could do a spin-off show, Escaping Polygamy, The Brown Women Wives Edition, that would be awesome. I would love to see that as an entire, or Life After Polygamy, oh my God, that could be the next reality show. Christine Brown, Life After Polygamy on TLC. No, let's do it on a different network because TLC is literally the worst. Christine Brown has been super busy the last several weeks and First of all, she was out promoting a group and an advocacy group that helps women and children leave situations that are involved in DV. And I was actually pretty shocked by this because Christine was promoting a fundraiser for this group that was founded a couple years ago by a woman that escaped a family that, well, as a child where she was dealing with DV in her home. And she was supporting this as a means to help other women and, and, and children potentially leave environments where they're not safe. It sort of made me think like, wow, Christine, you are stepping into an completely new realm because I've never actually seen you take steps like this privately, like in, on your private, like not on the show, right? So she has no reason to do this on, because it's literally her public U Instagram where she's promoting this. And the group is actually doing really good things to help families and provide resources to individuals that would like to leave situations that are not healthy. So the group that she was endorsing was called say, um, share the movement dot, um, share the movement org. Basically what she promoted was a, a, a conference that was designed to help people who might want to leave, leave and empower people to leave, in, um, empower people to leave DV and children, wives, resources. Pretty cool if you think about the fact of where she's come from, what she's been involved in. And it was neat to see her using her platform in such a powerful way, which actually gives me hope that Christine might be certainly on that path. And maybe she's maybe she actually used these services herself. We still don't really know what's happening in her relationship with Cody. We only know how at the end of the season uh, she said that she wasn't happy in her relationship anymore and she couldn't do this. And we also know that her daughters who are active on social media have not said a damn thing about Cody. The only person they talk about or praise is their mother. We'll have to see if any of them actually say anything to Cody on Father's Day. But it, it, it just feels like Christine has been moving in a completely different direction as her family. I hope that this is a sign that she's taking steps to leave him, to consider leaving him. And I hope it's not just her trying to just endorse a, I just hope it's not like for publicity, you know, like for good publicity, you know how the Browns want to help people leave, but then they don't really want to help people leave because they want them to stay in this world. With Christine actually thinking about leaving, it makes me feel like maybe she's on the right path. Maybe she's starting surrounding, to surround herself around others that have gone through things. Maybe she's connecting within the community of others that have gone through what she has. And maybe she's herself trying to align with those people so that she can take steps to free herself as well. So another shocking thing that Christine did on top of all of that, which completely surprised me, was she got vaccinated. I could not believe this, but she said this on Cinco de Mayo. Mayo with tacos and guacamole is my favorite. I got my COVID vaccine today, and if I'm feeling too sick to eat 
tacos, I'm going to lose it uh, like a pinata loses candy. So she got vaccinated, which if you know anything about the Browns, they are highly, like they are highly skeptical of med medicine and they are also very highly skeptical of using uh, vaccines and in conjunction to like doctors and Christine has always promoted like natural options for health and wellness. And so for me, knowing her history of using her platform to talk about, you know, changing your diet and using herbs, it was amazing to see her actually say she's vaccinated. Now, the vaccine could be because they want to have filming going on and it could be as simple as that. But I feel like I've seen a change in a shift in Christine over the last several years in that she's starting to take a lot more of a progressive stance and getting away from some of those very fundamentalist beliefs that she has grown up in and been around in her whole life. And I think the fact that her daughters are very progressive in their own rights, being that uh, Isabel and Gwendolyn are extremely liberal and extremely like they're feminists and they're all about women's rights. They're, they're very supportive of the LGBTQ plus communities. It's amazing because I feel like in a way that is sort of rubbed off on Christine. So Christine, for her part, as being a good mom to her children, it feels like the kids are also a good influence to her. And that actually makes me feel really happy for Christine. And we will always support these women taking steps to leave the um, oppressive world of polygamy, which gives them no control and has them living a very miserable life, which, as you've seen on the show, is not one that I would ever recommend, and I don't really think there's any sort of happiness in this kind of world. No matter how they want to sugarcoat it, it's just not a happy way of life. It's not natural, it's not, it's just not natural to share your spouse. On the flip side, Janelle Brown, who has not left Cody and seems to be the most happy in her relationship with Cody, she actually shared a Mother's Day message to her sister wives, which I thought was interesting because generally, they don't really interact very much on their Instagrams. And generally, they don't really speak a whole lot. They don't talk a whole lot on their Instagrams. But since the end of this last season, there's been sort of this like more of a push. Like I've noticed that Christine interacts a little bit more with Mary. And I also have noticed that Janelle has been trying to like reel some people in. So here's what Janelle said on her Instagram about the Sister Wives. She said, Happy Mother's Day to my mom. I miss you every day, but especially days like today when I once again realize I can never just call you again. Thank you for raising me to be fiercely independent. P.S. Your pup Jack is doing great. I have always wanted to take a picture of something silly he is doing to send to you and then I realize. To Madison Rose, who I think may be better, a better mom than I was, you really shine in the role as mom. That's her daughter. Not pictured. Mary Brown, who taught me the value of being industrious and to your mom, Grandma Bonnie, who taught me a very important child rearing lesson like pick your battles among many things. To Christine Brown, you taught me how nice it is to just have fun with kids, goof off, go on adventures, and have movie nights. And to your mom, Grandma Annie, whom I think might secretly be a version of myself in another universe. Interesting because Annie actually left polygamy. To Robin Brown, who taught me what it is to really tune in to my kids, ask questions, listen without judgment, and be fierce with your protection. And to your mom, Grandma Alice, who is such a has such a dry quit quit, I always have to stay on my toes to keep up. And to finally, Cody's mom, Grandma Janiel, thank you for raising 10 amazing children, my husband among them. Your charisma, charm, and dedication soften up the old cowboy that was Cody's dad. Your children call you blessed. So it's interesting, like for Christina, it was like, you taught me how to be goofy. And for Mary, you taught me how to be industrious. There, one thing about Mary is that they say she's a very hard worker. So I guess that doesn't really surprise me. It was nice to see that she made some comments to some of the moms. Um, obviously, you know that Janelle's mom passed away this year. So did Bonnie. Uh, Christine's mom, incidentally, is no longer in polygamy. She left the world of polygamy many years ago. So it was nice to see her tie in Annie and give Annie sort of a shout out and that makes me feel happy. Mary, for her part, has just been doing the Mary thing. She's continuing to share the really sad memes and the really sad poems and all those little like vague things about being, you know, not letting people steal your thunder and, you know, not being alone and, you know, you can't make people love you, that kind of stuff. So Mary is still doing Mary.
but I was super happy to see Christine taking another step in a direction where I feel like she's taking more steps to independence. And I'm going to continue holding out hope that eventually this will mean that Christine leaves Cody. And I do have hope that others will as well, because again, no woman should be forced to live in a society where their husband is the supreme ruler and they must abide by what their husband does and their husband's allowed to sleep with as many people as they want, but you can't do that either. You can't do that. It's unjust, it's unfair, and it's inequitable. All right, you guys, what do you think about Christine's involvement in that organization? And what do you think about Janelle's statements to the moms? Was it for was it all for show or do you think she really means the things that she has to say about her sister wives? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.